welcome to the Shimmy Up Spotlight series. And today, as one of our guests, we have Heidi Autumn, all the way from Santa Cruz, California. Welcome, Heidi. Thank you so much. I'm really honored to be here. I'm, I'm excited to have you here in the series, uh, especially because I know you've been a team leader for several years, four years, I believe. Yes, four years. Four years. That's kind of super exciting for me. I love it. You, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I wanted to ask you, um, how did you get into belly dance? Okay. I'd love to tell you. So um, I actually went about 11 years ago to a bridal shower and everybody was, you know, it was a belly dance bridal shower and it was so much fun. And then afterwards, um, I remembered that my mom had a friend who taught belly dance back when I was very young. And um, she taught belly dance at my first bridal shower. And that was when I was you know, like 17 and pregnant. And I thought, oh, I wonder if she's still teaching. So I looked her up and she, um, she's still teaching and my teacher, Cece, and I've just been dancing with her ever since and having so much fun with our school. And um, yeah, it's my joy. It's just, I don't know what I would do without dance. It's my therapy. So the rest is pretty much history. You started and that was oh. it. <laughs> That's it. I was never going to perform. Never. I just wanted to dance. Right. And then of course it's like, Oh, can we perform more? <laughs> so now you teach and you perform. So I help teach the shimmy mob. And then I had the great honor last year to teach our local high school, the school where my son goes, their dance team is like renowned in our County and probably outside of our County, the escapades at Harbor high school in Santa Cruz, they asked me if I would teach them a dance and I just like poured my soul into it in my heart and I just loved it. I got so much out of it and the choreography is so cute. I actually was thinking of changing it up a little, maybe submitting it next year. Oh, cool. That would be cool. Why not? It'd be nice to see. Why not? Exactly. Why not? Yeah. So how do you, how did you, how did you find out about Shimmy Mob and how, what prompted you, how did you find out first of all, first of all, and then what prompted you to become a team leader? Okay, so I just, you know, Facebook, I saw Shimmy Mob. I'm like, what is this? And then I looked for a team in Santa Cruz and there wasn't one. And I asked all the dance teachers in Santa Cruz that are already, you know, very much um, established and well known. And nobody like wanted to take it on. I said, great, I'm doing it. Right. And, um, and the couple of dance studios that have been super um, supportive and our sponsor we have dance center in capitola and synergy and aptos have offered the time and the space and the studio rental free it's been amazing so backtrack i found out about shimmy mob on facebook nobody else seemed to want to take it on i thought it was the coolest thing ever and i still do i get so pumped every year i love it i get so much out of it it's the power of social media right yeah, I, I think Shimmy Mob for the most part has grown because of social media. Because I remember the first year when I, when we started, I started doing this back in 2011, uh, I wasn't really thinking worldwide. I was thinking, you know, several locations, but sort of in the immediate area. Yeah. And before I knew it, it was everywhere. I was like, ah! <laughs> I'm so impressed with you. This is huge. You've built an empire. Well, it, it, really, it, is really. a big, it is a big end undertaking. And as a team leader, you know, it takes a lot of work just to be a team leader. And when I started, I was a team leader of local areas as well. So I, I did it for a couple of years myself with multiple locations. But now that it's grown this big, I just can't do both where I do right. you know, run everything. So it is a big undertaking, but you know, and it is a lot of work, but I, I, love, I love what it does. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily love how many hours I have to put into it, <laughs> but I, I do, I do, I find it very rewarding to see uh, the ripple effects, yes. uh, the, the, the good, the, the good that comes out of it. So that's why I do it. I never thought of building an empire. I never thought of this, you know, and I, I, I don't even think of it that way. I think of it more as a, it's just a big family. I love it. Yeah. You know? yeah. It yeah. is. So, uh, Heidi, in your in your application, 
you mentioned that dance saved your life and saved you from depression. Are you willing to share about that? Can you tell us? I, yeah, I am. I am. I definitely like so many other women, men, but you know, women is really what we focus on with Shimei Mom, I would say. Mm -hmm. And so many things in my life, you know, stress and everything else. Um, it has healed me in so many ways that just, you know, like talk therapy doesn't do, but dancing, being with um, like-minded people, mostly women, in a group that feels safe and supportive has, it just, if you're having a really bad day and you go to dance, you're, you, you can't not get in a better mood and the endorphins and everything else that it does and the acceptance that I found through belly dance of, you know, women's bodies and my body especially, you know, not being so critical anymore. Yeah, I mean, I am, but you know, it's, I've just come to accept our bodies as beautiful and it's okay to have a belly and it's absolutely beautiful to belly dance. It's not, um, you know, it's not a bad thing and there's a lot of stigma out there that it's not, you know, some kind of other kind of dancing or anything like that, that there's no problem with those either. I'm just, it's just really been a very safe, supportive, and so much fun for me. And um, I love it. I'm, I love it. If I'm not dancing, I'm watching videos on YouTube. I'm just like thinking of a next thing or a choreography <laughs> costume. <laughs> costumes, costumes. Yeah, I remember when I was first starting into belly dance, watching a lot of videos, but I was studying the costumes as well as the moves. <laughs> yeah, the costumes yes. are so much fun. The sparkles, the sparkles. Yes, sparklier the better. Very much um, my main um, style of dancing is definitely cabaret. So is I really it? love this last choreography, my favorite. Oh, yeah. It's a bit more Egyptian style this time around. But it's nice to have the, the variety. I think it's I had someone fun. else. Yeah, someone else was mentioning that in one of the other interviews, how they enjoy that each time it's so different. You get to I learn. Know. So you get to experience the different sides, right? Yeah. So how many people did you have in your team? I can't, yeah, I can't remember. Year, I honestly can't well, remember. Well, this year we had like 32 people sign up. Wow. Unfortunately, like every other year, so many people drop out either. Well, not, no, some of them, you know, just out of fear, it was too hard for them. Even though we started getting together way, way early and mm -hmm. things like that. I just think, um, you know, if you don't come to the rehearse practices and do it and learn it with all of us, because we project it on the wall, we use the tutorials, it's pretty great. So I don't feel like I'm teaching it. I feel like we're learning it together. Mm -hmm. And um, so, but I think we had uh, 19 or 20 on the day of the event. That's pretty So cool. I was really happy. That's we took over downtown Santa Cruz like we do every year. It was so much fun. We probably did it seven or eight times. That's all that. Wow. That, that, that's a nice full day. Yeah. Yeah, the, it's satisfying. I find that um, you get more out of it if you do it more than once in the day. And I know in some cities, they just do it once and that's it. And that's fine because if that's all you can do. But I, yeah. I find that the more you do it, the more exciting, more euphoric you are. I don't know. Did you have the same experience? Absolutely. And the team just gets closer, you know, oh. because sometimes you might have some people at rehearsal. Sometimes maybe none of them came to rehearsal, just got the shirt but they learned it on their own. You just get more cohesive as a team and you get, you're just all yeah. laughing and giggling and just like, all right, let's go to the next corner. You know, it's really fun. And uh, we um, raise money for our local women's uh, shelter, uh, the Walnut Avenue Women's Center. And um, they go with us and every year they get excited, you know, nice. so it's really fun. Nice. I want to add something to, uh, just, just to interject to, um, because the topic came up, so I feel, for people who are watching this, uh, if you've ever signed up for Shmi Mob and then you found, you looked at the videos and freaked out, <laughs> you go, that looks too hard because you know, you know, the level of the choreography, the choreographies are pretty basic. And when you're trying to do something that is new, especially if you don't even physically try, if you just watch it, uh, sometimes we make it harder than it is in our own psycho psychology, in, in our own minds. Yeah. You have to physically try it but also the other step so i'm trying to encourage people watching this that maybe go i don't know these choreographies look hard i don't think i could ever do it in the future the key is like i said the choreographies are pretty simple even though they may seem fast at first however if you learn 
four counts at a time. Master four counts before you go to the next four counts. You'll be able to master it within a month. Like it doesn't matter where you're, like what level you're at. Even if you're just coming off the street, you can learn the basics. You can learn the dance if you go a little bit at a time. I find a lot of people just they watch the video or they go to one first rehearsal and they feel like they have to know the whole thing or yeah. just watch the dance and just know it. Like it doesn't work like that, especially if you haven't danced before. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. I tr really, truly try to encourage people too. And every year we've had new dancers that have never belly danced that have stuck with us all the way through and are so happy to have done so. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's the point. Like, exactly. Yeah. The and point. then they come back. <laughs> they come back and I'm like, tell that person. Exactly. Tell them it's going to be all right. We always talk about our previous experiences. So it's yeah. great. It's yeah. Great. Yeah, so I just wanted to add that just because I know there have been some people that have felt challenged in the past. They've signed up and they go, it's too hard. And then they give up without even trying. They don't even show up at some of the rehearsals. And I'm like, you're only mm -hmm. cheating yourself. It's like, give yourself that opportunity to, to really uh, get in it and just learn yeah. it a little bit at a time. That's good oh, advice. Wow. And also, the day of, just go in the middle go in the middle you have people all around you that are strong dancers and so you we can support you better that way or you can pose yes right? always pose <laughs> i meant to do that it's my solo moment is it really yeah <laughs> i love it i love it i love it that's what we tell them so Smile. That's awesome well you know there's all, there's so many things that also um participants can do it doesn't have to be just it doesn't have to be just dancing, right? There's so many that can take photos. It can be just there, present, just be there as a support or yeah. sure, right? Like there's so many ways of um, giving back and being part of this. So Heidi, uh, yeah. you have an event coming up in August that you'd like yeah. to share? Tell us about it. Yes. Um, Saturday, August 26th at Harbor High School in their theater, our dance school um, with my teacher and all of her classes that she teaches, a big show that we do once a year. We put on for Santa Cruz. It's always an amazing like variety show. So it's just not one style or one type or group dances. There's soloists, there's duets, there's trios, there's groups, there's shimmy mob. And uh, we just have so much fun. And that's at seven o'clock. And anybody could PM me if they want tickets or information. So PM you, they just look at private message or. Right. Oh, no, no, I know. Yeah. But how do they find you? Well, I'll have oh, to I'm sorry. I will have yeah, to well, okay. <laughs> Hello. So um, <laughs> Facebook, um, Heidi Winner Odom is my name. And um, yeah, just look me up and I'm always happy to friend fellow dancers. Do, do, do you have a website or no? I do not have a website, no. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. So we'll, we'll just get people to contact you through Facebook. That's... Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm, that's yeah. Totally, that totally works. Yeah. So cool. that's our big show coming up and I'm really pumped up and excited for that. Inviting but, our shimmy mobbers to come. Is, so do they need to buy tickets in advance or is it just at the door? Uh, tickets in advance. So um, if people want to contact me, they're usually $15 in advance and 10 at the door. But okay. I don't yet know. My teacher hasn't given out the tickets yet because August feels like a long ways away, but it's not. No. More details it's not. to follow. Yeah. Well, the thing is, by the time this airs, it will probably be very close to the event. So yeah. Yeah. I'll be able to comment on there and how you can get tickets to our exactly. show. Exactly. Really fun. Exactly. An excuse to come to Santa Cruz is always a good excuse. That's true. Yeah. I like to clone myself. Yeah, you should come. C can you clone me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be everywhere. Like, there's so many things going on, and I, I just, I, w I would like to be everywhere. Oh my gosh! Can you come? Yes. I, I don't know, August. Well, let's talk. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Uh, Good. But, yeah, we can, we can talk and see what happens. Um, you have a stage name. Yes. What is it? I love my stage name. It's Kaliana, and it means a Persian princess. And my teacher, my sensei, she uh, has a beautiful naming ceremony after you've danced with her for a couple of years and performed. And um, she really gives naming and the ceremony a lot of thought and a lot of, um, it's just so beautiful. Well, you know, it's like dancers before you make you beautiful um, tiara, flower crowns, and it's in a beautiful outdoor rose garden 
setting and she gives you your name. It's just such a nice moment. I mean, so I think some dancers don't have names, some give themselves names, but mm -hmm. my name is so special to me. So I just, I love it. It's and then everybody just calls me Callie. That, I was like, Kaliana, but they call me Kaliana or Callie. It doesn't matter. I love it. That, that is, that is such a, I, I honestly never heard of a ceremony for naming a dancer. And I think, I think your teachers made this so special for you. So that, that name, I think means so much more to you because of what she so done. Yeah. That's yeah. Really and then cool. dancers after me, I get to be part of the process and we, you know, we sit around and we make the flower crowns and we make it all beautiful and we bring food. It's really special. Are there photos of this? Yes. I'd love to see them. Okay. I'll, maybe when you air this, I'll put a few photos up in the thread. That would be great. That Thank would you. be great. That would be great. Is there anything else you would like to share with people watching or any words of wisdom or anything? I just want everybody to follow their passion. If it's dance, you know, don't limit yourself. And um, it's so good to take care of yourself. So for me, it's dance. It, I'm getting a little choked up because, you know, we work so hard in our daily lives. We're always taking care of others. If you're a mom like me or whatever, and I work, you know, so many hours, but like taking care of yourself with dance, I mean, you're only going to reap so many rewards out of it. The sisterhood is so amazing. And thank you so much for the shimmy mob because it, the sisterhood just grows. And, um, you know, don't limit yourself because you think you're too big or too old or too anything um, because it's for everybody. And, and it's beautiful and it's very accepting and everybody is, it's just wonderful. So thank you. You're very welcome. Wise, very, very wise words. And since you mentioned it, because a lot of people assume that people that are involved in shimmy mob, that uh, people assume that everybody is actually a belly dance professional. You mentioned you have a full-time job in, can you share what you do? Oh, sure, sure. Yes, I am the director of human resources for the Live Oak School District in Santa Cruz. And we're a small school district. We have seven schools, though, and, and I've been here 23 years. It's a, it's a wonderful job. It's a big job. And, you know, I'm super passionate about it. And it takes up a lot of my time and energy. And, um, you know, I need the release. Mm -hmm. so besides walking my dog, it's, you know, it's dancing or it's playing drums. <laughs> oh, there's that's the other thing you do. You also play drums. Yes. That's yes. I, I'm just started because why not? You're never too old to do anything that you've always wanted to do and be passionate about. I think dance has encouraged me to just why? Why would I hold myself back? And we're talking full on rock drum set. Wow. Like yeah. the actual drum set. Big old Yamaha. Drum oh set. my goodness. I thought you were talking about a tabla. You're talking a full set. But you know what? Thank you. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Thank play you. drums, play you guitar, know, skydive, you know, do whatever. Yes. And you know what? Like recently, I was being interviewed and I was being asked where are my thoughts when people say, oh, I'm too old for this. And I'm like, oh, no, don't get me going, right? Because seriously, like, who are we not to start now? Like, right. Exactly. Right. Who's telling us this? Exactly. We're not too old. Yeah. I'm going to join a rock band when I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I love it. I love it. So yeah. it's going to be Kellyanna, the belly dancer rock band chick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a guest in this series. So we're going to make sure that people are watching this. We'll contact you. We'll, uh, we will have a link here at the end of the video with where to find you on Facebook so that they can contact you and get uh, information on the tickets for the event in August and maybe even future events if you have other things or maybe if they just want to get to know you. Great. And uh, it's been absolutely a pleasure. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. So I hope to meet you in person soon. Maybe you'll be at your event. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be so. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But in the meantime, we'll just have to uh, connect online. So at least we have this technology. Okay. Okay. Well, you have a great day. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching the Shmi Mob video spotlight series. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment below. And if you would like to be uh, featured in the future, send us an email at shimmymob at gmail.com.